What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, we'll be talking about how what Doctor Strange's heroics could look like, aka also how he could just play in general. But before we do dive on this video, I want to thank you guys so much for leaving a like, subscribe, all that stuff. We're at 177 now, so three away from 180. So please, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And now let's dive on into this video. So we got another lovely subscriber. Once again, Jalen Tass, shout out to him. That gave me idea or gave me ideas, and also just his ideas in general, of Doctor Strange's heroics and an awesome, lovely takedown. Honestly, I love that little takedown. So once we get into it, we will. I'll, you'll you'll maybe like it as well. But we're gonna be going down through, you know, his heroic support, ultimate, um, assault as well, and his intrinsic as well. So if you if you're new here, this is what we've been doing now. The last couple weeks we did. Doctor Str well, obviously we're doing Doctor Strange now, we did War Machine, uh, we did Moon Knight, we did Ant-Man, we're doing a whole bunch of characters, so please leave a comment down below what character you want to see, and give me some ideas of what his heroics, or abilities in general, could do. Now, let's dive into Doctor Strange. In the background, you can see I'm playing some, some potential skins and stuff, we got the classic, we got the all new, all different, the MCU skins, you know, I might have some Funko Pop skins, I got suits from the, from like the new, uh, Multiverse of Madness. It was a decent picture of confined of it anyways but let's dive into his heroics so starting off with the heroics we got his support which is guardian v vishanti gives players a magic barrier for 20 seconds that absorb 25 percent damage like jarvis barrier that's at least what he said um obviously we know who jarvis barrier is it gives that like orange thing kind of it really disrupts your view kind of thing or like of the character so maybe it could just be like only pops up when damage is kind of being taken to you. So, that could be like, yeah. I feel like, or it could be like, I don't know how it could be like, basically. But I feel like that was the only real idea I could think of. Because I know a lot of people wanted to get that fixed for the driver spare. Because it is kind of annoying. I kind of stopped using it. It's a good piece. But it's just a little annoying how it just visually pops up like that all the time. Going down to his assault. Chaos blades. Throw blade rings that explode dealing plasma damage across status effects. This is a nice one. Honestly, I think he actually did this in the one uh, Multiverse of Madness trailer where he, like, I think cuts the the truck or something being thrown at him in half with that kind of saw blade. So, basically, that would be really cool. He kind of just throws his blades. Um, he even said it could explode with plasma damage, aka, like, I think it's, like, the more fiery fiery uh, damage and stuff. Obviously, I feel like that could be one of his skill points, be, like, either fire, um, you know, cryo, uh, with an electric, I guess, uh... Well, uh, we could do, like, a different one. Or they could even make his own type of, you know, like, status effect. You know, like a new doctor, like a new uh, sorcery one or something. That would be pretty cool. But um, that could be, like, in his skill tree, honestly, to change what, it like, the blades do and stuff. So that's a nice, awesome thing. His ultimate spectral guardian. Summon a ghostly warrior or creature that fights beside you, increasing your damage and explodes when the ability wears off. So I would say similar to um, Black Panther's one, you know, like, how he summons the panther for like a second, just goes through that wave, and then I know the upgrade where he can summon like two Wakandan warriors. Basically, I would say that's like like similar to it, where you just summon like a, like a ghostly warrior, he said, or like some type of creature. So I think you can just like open a portal, summons it and stuff, and then he kind of just does like a whole bunch of damage. But then he also like will explode when it like you know. So when he's like attacking the multiple enemies and getting surrounded, and his the timer goes up, boom, explodes and does a whole bunch of error damage um same thing goes to that i feel like in a skill tree could do like change like the status effects like you know plasma um cryo you know all that stuff i would think that'd be very really cool to see or even like i said just have a, a whole new like status effect for you know magic characters now his intrinsic he said i have agamotto now this is a pretty cool one slow down time allowing you to avoid attacks or get behind enemies now this is an awesome one i, I think that was pretty cool how he did that um, I know, like, Spider-Man's, like, you know, it's, like, you know, Spidey Sense, whatever, kind of just makes it, like, dodge and stuff. But this one, he makes it so, like, you can literally just slow down time and just, like, move out of the way, punch, or something, or, like, go above him or something. So that's really cool, honestly. So I think that's a really cool intrinsic. And, um, uh, maybe just to make it last longer or, like, recharge faster in his skill tree. That's nothing really I can think of. I think it's, he hits the nail on this one, so pretty good. Um... I'm actually going, we're going to go to the takedown later, 
But um, obviously his moves, his traversal and stuff will be, you know, flight, obviously, because we, we need more flyers, and Jane Foster is coming with another flyer, which is nice. Like I said, we definitely need new flyers. So obviously he'll do that. But his combat could be very interesting with the whole m mystical thing. And then his range tag could be like, um, it could be even like maybe smaller blades or like even just something in general. Like just shoots bolts and stuff. So I think that'll be very cool. Now, finally, 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 the takedown, which honestly I love the most, to be honest, uh, out of what he said. So it's named the, the Cape Did It. Takedown, animation where the cape takes down the enemy for you. I could just see that, like, literally Doctor Strange just kind of, like, throw the cape on him. Like, either, like, oh, how he could do it? Like, he could, like, grab the aimbot, like, strangle him, rip the head off, or even, or just, like, grab him, fly him up, fly him down. I feel like just the possibilities are endless, to be honest, which is just so awesome. I love this one, because literally it's just, like, he could just, like, sip a, sip a little thing of tea, the cape taking down an enemy, and just, like... High fives at the end of it or something. I think that would be a very cool animation, not going to lie. But, guys, that is it, honestly, for the Doctor Strange heroics or tra traversal. Like, in just in how he plays, honestly. So, please leave a like, subscribe, all this stuff. Uh, let me down in the comments down below what do you guys think of these ideas. Um, like I said, shout out to Jalen Task. Awesome guy. Keep it up. Keep bringing these awesome ideas. I love talking to you guys as well. And not just him, and to you guys in general. So please leave a, leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Leave a comment down below what characters you want to see next. And watch my other videos. Of see like War Machine I did, Moon Knight, Ant-Man, etc. So like I said, leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.